I did a little experimenting with Susanna U here, and I found a really, um, really cool way to do a lot of damage in very short succession. That's my 40%. And this involves building Hydra's Lament. Not a very popular item, yeah, but it works really well. Let me just show you how this works here. Actually, does increasing that ability... Yes. Okay, so I'm going to level up enough so that I can max out my one. Okay. So, I put this on quick casting to make it a little bit easier for myself. Uh, the way you have to do this is you use the one, right click, use your auto, right click, use your auto, use it again. Watch the uh, Hydra procs each time. Okay, so you use the one, you see the Hydra proc, boom. Use the two, boom. Use it one more time. Three Hydra procs in close succession with auto attack cancels. Um, the tricky part is pulling it off because there's delay in when you can um, cancel out the ability. If you just push one and mash right click and do that, you'll get it, but you might very well um, end up just using the ability again when you're first trying it out here. Uh, obviously, it's, it's not a horrible thing, because it does do pretty decent damage, right? But obviously having the Hydra proc is preferable. Um, I'm at pretty low power right now, so you don't see a very noticeable difference, but I'm just going to level myself up here and go max build from something I would um, expect to see on a Sasano. So obviously you're going to be going uh, Warrior Tabi, not Ninja Tabi on this god. You're going to want a lot of pen, a lot of power. I, I'm basically going to build him like Bastet. Um, and then I'm just going to grab a Bulwark as well. I like to think defensively. I'm a support main, so what, do you, what can I say? I'm not going to bother leveling my other abilities because it doesn't really matter. But if you look at this right now, um, my... Here, I'll just look at it in stats here. My power is 140, and then my basic attack damage is 222. 216, 216, 270. 216, 216, yeah, 216, 216, 270. That's my attack chain. So now if I use this, boom, boom, 281, 281, 281. Yeah, it's worth it. You basically get large auto attacks at very, at the, at the faster speeds. You get uh, the larger auto attacks that you can then go into using other abilities with. This god is insane. If you can get the technical mastery to do the uh, auto attack cancels here, um, another item I would really expect to see on this god is um, oh jeez, I was just thinking about it. Yeah, god damn it. What am I thinking of? But either, I mean, either way, Hydra's Lament is going to be my my preaching point for this build. I think it's going to be a cornerstone for Susano U. Um, I'm just trying to think of what that other item was that I was really thinking would be really strong on this god. Oh, yeah, Stone Cunning Sword. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, I think I would probably replace one of the defensive items, probably Bulwark in this case, because I still want max cooldown with the, the stone cunning sword just because you're going to be doing auto attacks in close succession boom boom you see the stone cutting sword proc down there the stone cutting sword proc never goes away and by the time you get to that third auto attack um, in the chain watch how much damage this thing does i'm gonna let it unstack there boom 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 that's a lot of damage, and that's a regular small auto attack too. So I think Susana U is going to be incredibly potent in uh, in play as long as he isn't nerfed like shit, uh, which he very well might be. But anyway, that's um, that's just how to auto attack cancel, how to use Hydra's Lament effectively with Susana U.